I don't suppose you could give me a sample of your brain tissue for study purposes. After studying Tychus's brain, Dr. Hansen hopes yours will restore her faith in humanity. Welcome, students. Today we'll cover the Wings of Liberty missions involving collecting lots of alien artifacts, the smash and grab, the dig, the Mobius factor, supernova, and the Maw of the Void missions. To begin these, mission, these missions, you must first have completed the Marsara missions, then you can start these or do various other missions instead. You do need the dig to start the prophecy missions, so you might try to get through that pretty soon. These missions unlock the Marauder, Siege Tanks, Medevac, Banshee, and Battlecruiser, and lots of Protoss research, and Protoss research is especially helpful. Smash and Grab requires you to seize the Zelnaga artifact and destroy three statues. There are also four Protoss artifacts you can find for research points. Achievements include completing the objectives, completing the mission on normal without using a, a unit to statues, use marauders or bunkers for that, and finishing the mission on hard in under 15 minutes. Here's our base, and we are going to go this way to get the Zelnaga artifact. To the left, thou shalt not go, excepting thou then proceed to the right. Going up is right out. Now, we've been building our base up and adding defense. We've already tagged the Protoss artifact just outside the base and ventures out to the one in the Protoss territory to the west where you sort of head um, to the left and loop back down and then come back. Now we're going to push right. We're going to focus fire away across the bridge. We'll find other additional defenses on that bridge as we go. And here, we're across the bridge into the Protoss base. We're going to go after one of the two little uh, Protoss relics that are in that base, um, down these little side thingies. Get us some research points. And here's the Zelnaga relic. Save before hitting that green pad. Oh, fossilized colossi, or some such thing, zealots probably. They're going to attack us. Base. But we are mighty. Now, we wouldn't be getting the achievement with this because we're losing people, but we could have put bunkers in there or use marauders and kite out weak ones or something. This is Donnie Vermillion live from UNN. Tonight, we're going to discuss the infamous Queen of Blades. Scientists and military insiders have long speculated that the enigmatic alien is in fact an infested human. That's right, Donnie. Is it possible that the leader of the Zerg has a human heart? More importantly, Kate, could this mean some kind of Terran-Zerg alliance is possible? Donnie, there's never been any evidence at all to suggest that infested humans retain their free will. You make a good point, Kate. The question is then, how do we kill her? That's one I think we all can agree on. If humanity is to survive, the Queen of Blades needs to be eliminated. On to the dig. Objectives, get to the drill, protect it, and drill through the temple doors. Bonus objectives, get the three Protoss relics. Achievements involve finishing the objectives, killing 20 enemy units on normal with the drill, destroying 50 Protoss structures on hard. And you do that with the drill or with units. We need bunkers and siege tanks defending that laser drill. We got no chance of claiming the artifact without it. Okay, let's do what the man says. Now at this point we have already gone by a little introductory thing which as you go through will be self-explanatory and we're trying to build our base. We do need to defend those two ramps. We need to get our economy going, get a bunker at each ramp, and lots of siege tanks. Pay attention to the mini-map. It shows when a group is coming. See that? We're about to get hit now. We need to have something ready to defend. Base is under attack. And we'll pull over some SCVs more than we need, actually. And then when we send them back, I'll accidentally hit one refinery, and so they'll all go to that. But you can click a refinery, see how many SCVs are on it, and then reapportion it to the other one. Go ahead. Stay in the rear with the... 
We have a couple of factories. We'll rally one to each side. Here is our map. You don't have to go into those Protoss bases at all. Or you can sort of go in by floating a building over there and drilling them. I'm giving you manual control of the laser drill. Okay, now See, that is essential. Tanks alone won't help you enough in the early points. The well, Immortals are strong right against there. tanks. Eventually they'll be Colossi, around. and Colossi are absolutely devastating. They can hit the high ground. They can see the high ground and give it vision. To hit these, it's a little bit tricky. Select the drill, Base then right-click a attack. unit you want to hit, and then hit multiple units, shift, and then keep right-clicking other units, and queue them up, and the drill will take them down. The drill also buys you some time. Keep an eye on the minimap. Look for those dots. You need to look and see what's coming when you see them to see if you need to use the drill. Right now we need more SCVs, more supply on? depots, and lots more tanks. Move it. Huh? We'll also need some missile turrets because air is coming. Now I'm going to make a mistake and just queue one thing to do a series of missile turrets. Should build them all at once. The warp prisms are not a problem. Whatever they drop, our tanks will take care of. But the void rays, they are a problem. And here's an example of just being too slow to deal with something and losing a tank. Should have hit that earlier. Sir, I'm picking up the energy signatures of several Protoss relics in the area. I'm marking them on your map. SCV ready. All right, this part's actually easy. Well, if there's time, we can blast them free with a laser drill. I bet Stedman would love to study them. And that's why it's easy, because the laser drill will blast straight, blast straight into those buildings, free up the relic, and then you can just send an SCV or whatever over to pick them up. We're using that um, b barracks there because we're not using the barracks for any production. Fly over and give us some vision. Upgrade complete. Oh, now see, sleep at the wheel again. Absolutely. Well, we've about finished this. We can expand. You don't have to expand. Um, you can use other unit mixes. Uh, just be sure to hit those colossi. Base is under attack. Ooh, I wonder if that drill is going to hold up. That blue screen doesn't look too good. It's a beautiful sight. Look at that. Nothing is getting through there. Now you can use multiple command centers with scan, um, flying buildings, Vikings to get vision on the Protoss. Um, tanks, bio, whatever. It's up to you how to play this game. This is Donnie Vermillion, live from UNN. Tonight, the Zerg invasion. The battle so far. The Terran Dominion is holding firm under Zerg aggression. Our industrial complex has stepped up production on all fronts. Enlistment rates have risen within the penal system, and the Marine Corps is ready to get in the fight. The Zerg won't know what hit them. Donnie, has there been any word on when we start pushing the aliens back? Kate, if I revealed that, I'd be giving away vital Dominion secrets. You think the Zerg watch our broadcast? I know they do, Kate. I know they do. Well, you heard it here first, folks. This is Kate Lockwell for UNN. We're ready to evacuate, but none of the teams I sent to purge the Foundation data cores have reported back. I need you to destroy those cores before the Queen of Blades finds them and discovers the coordinates yep. of the That's remaining That's Dr. Narud artifacts. there talking to Rainer. The fate I wonder of the what Narud backward. hang in the balance. Narud is the Mobius guys. Um... Leader. He's heading over this Class project. Well, at least that's what Rainer thinks at this point. Extreme caution. Uh -oh. Kerrigan. So right, we need to blast the three data cores before Kerrigan off. hacks into we gotta them. Move. Bonus objectives are destroying a broodlisk and rescuing some survivors. There are some achievements. Completing the objectives, getting all the survivors on normal, finishing on hard before Kerrigan destroys six um, abandoned structures. 
No, for this, it's helpful to have researched the Hercules transport prior to this mission, although you can do it without it. I'm giving you control of our medevacs, Commander. You can use them to transport your men around the city and avoid most of the Zerg. And that'll be crucial for Ready hitting the first off. data core. Let's wait just a moment and see what happens. Meanwhile, on the mini-map, you can see Kerrigan flashing. She's headed toward that first data core. The Raiders are here. Okay, let's load those guys into one medevac. Ooh, there goes mutilisk parts all over the creation. And go fly out and drop onto this building. That will bring the other guys under our control. Don't forget those mutilisks. You gotta hit those mutilisks. Before turning your attention back to the building, maybe get that Nidus Worm too. Take down the data core, and then with both um, medevacs there, you can both get your troops back and the ones that you're rescuing from that location. That was simple. That's one down. Keep it moving, boys. What's going on? Go ahead. You can move on, son. Been waiting on you. Say the word, baby. Okay. Now you can see the second data core up top. But we're going to ignore that. We're going to go try to rescue some people first. Usually when you fly over them, they'll turn blue and you can load them. Sometimes you'll have to drop something and um, activate them and pick them up. It's not bad, in addition to science vessels, if you're taking some for repair, since you have plenty of room, to load a few SCVs so that when you drop, if you drop SCVs onto a rooftop, they will repair your um, ships there. Hey, man! Could use some help down here! So there's a pair of buildings there. You see those? We couldn't reach the data cores. Help us out. Turn blue and load it up. Now there are a pair of other buildings nearby, one of which has some people inside and not visible, but it's clear they're there. They leave a little message, and they will come out when you get there. <laughs> You're even more desperate than I thought. You can't really believe this plan of yours has even a chance of working. Talk, talk. If you had something, you wouldn't need to talk. Oh my. There went our science vessels. Okay, and here in our final building, we can pick these guys up pretty readily. Although, if we're going to drop SCVs and repair at this point, which isn't a bad idea at all, because you can see that we are in the red on one of the units, um, you better be aware that something's about to happen. Something does happen on this building. Oh no! Okay, so we've defended that, repaired. We can load these guys and go back to base. Or if we want to, we're pretty close to the Brutalisk. You can see a little Brutalisk location there just um, west by southwest of us. Now, as you can see from this map, there might be some better ways in and out of this area. You can figure that out. Okay, while we have been gone, we've been building units, getting some siege breakers. Those are always nice. We'll repair up our transports here. And then we should have enough to go after that next data core, and we do need to move on that. What I like to do is not drop on the ledge where the data core is, but drop just below it here. Siege the tanks and blast the data core from there. As it happens, Kerrigan's already there, but she's not going to get in before we take it down. And you may have noticed as those transports were coming north, they were running into buildings. Pathing can get a little odd on this map and on some other maps when you're flying around and there are tall buildings. You can even actually kind of get trapped if you're not paying attention and then have to back away. I've seen through your Dr. Narud's pathetic charade. Okay, now here we've gone over to the Brutalisk. Oh, not thinking here. Gotta think better. Should have just dropped on the high ground and held there, not gone down to engage it. You lose things that way. We lost one of the transports as it was hovering over there. And because of that, um, we need to ferry our 
base remaining is under attack. troops back on one of the transports we have. We didn't lose the, the troops because the troops were on the ground. And when a transport's destroyed, it doesn't actually destroy the troops inside them. They just drop. Now that's a Hercules transport, not a medevac. But once we get everybody over here, instead of flying right over to the third data core and dropping, we'll just march in. And here we go. Might be good to start thinking about stim at some point. Ergen's hustling because she sees something happening, but she won't get here in time. Our glorious tanks and siege breakers will do some damage here to back up the troops, Confirm. and that data core is the going down. The final has been destroyed. We should evacuate immediately. Oh, good thinking. Kate Lockwell for UNN. The elusive Queen of Blades was spotted on Tirador recently. Dr. Emil Narud, head of the renowned Mobius Foundation, had a run-in with the alien queen, but is currently unavailable for comment. In a statement, Dr. Narud credited Rainer's raiders with keeping the Queen of Blades from achieving Kate, her- I'm sorry to interrupt, but we have a breaking story. Apparently, uh, um, go to, go to, go to commercial, please, uh, commercial. What goes bump in the night? It might be your gifted child. Register your child at PsyOps today. It's the law. It's your duty. On to Supernova. Objectives, clear the landing area, destroy the vault. The first thing you just do at the beginning quickly, and then the main task is destroy the vault. Also, there are four little Protoss relics you can find here and there. If you want achievements, finish the objectives. Finish on normal without losing a unit to the wall of fire. Oh, kill 75 units cannons. with cloaked Digging banshees on hard. Well, cloak. kill 75 units or structures with cloaked banshees on hard. Okay, that was the clear the landing area part, and now we're on to the main part. You'll note we have plenty of supply. You don't have to build supply depots. However, we don't have much in the way of uh, minerals. We'll have to move from base to base also as this firewall moves along. It's a wall of fire. Now, right outside our base, there's a relic, and there's a little bit of defense, but not a whole lot. If we turn right and just sort of head south at that point, and then east, there's kind of like a little road, a little path, um, with troops along the way that gets us to here, which is where the other relic is, um, in this direction. And once we clear that out, since that's ways further to the east, if we want to, we can go down there and build a couple of buildings to start upgrades or something and then we can expand here if we want to since there's a little mineral field but in the meantime we're going to mine out where we are because we can pretty much do that before the wall of fire gets here and um, then we're going to use a trick to get this other relic we have mules so instead of fighting our way through those cannons we'll just drop a mule and in a couple of seconds it has before it's blasted it'll tag the relic and then bam we have it Woohoo! Cloak is our friend, but you only have so much energy for cloak, so once you're not using it anymore, you need to be sure to decloak. Save your energy. Now oh, they're fleeing, and we are... Um, oh, my mouse is fleeing now. I wish I had a mouse that worked, because I need to get my units away from that firewall, which is getting a bit close to our base. You need to run away. Run away, run away. Uh, we're going to move the buildings. This starport is still... Um, building and it's a ways from the firewall so we can leave that there for a bit and let it finish building and then we'll move it also and we'll want to get a little bit of money by salvaging that bunker when we leave here is the last relic and we will do our little trick there also All right, now let's wreak havoc. We have wraiths for now for anti-air science vessels to spot observers and repair. And we'll just do some damage to this base. This Taldarim base is in a good spot for us. And maybe. 
We just need to clear them out and take possession. Southeast of this Talbarine base, there are a couple other spots. And we've expanded to one of them, right under the noses of the Protoss. Get a little bit more. But you know, it gets tiresome to just keep fighting and expanding. So let's do a dirty trick. See this little spot here? It looks like a safe little spot right on the edge of the map, doesn't it? And you know what's going to happen if we sit there and just sit there while the firewall comes across all those Protoss bases? It's going to do our job for us. Wait for the firewall to destroy the Protoss, then dash in and finish the vault. Get the cannon behind the vault, get the observer. We wait a little bit too long to get the observer and pour fire into the vault and you should be able to take the vault down pretty readily because at this point they won't have a lot of defense. Just be sure you don't get into that um, firewall because that would be unfortunate. This is Kate Lockwell for UNN. Tonight, top Dominion military analysts are still confused and relieved to report that while attacks do continue throughout the fringe, the main Zerg push into Dominion space seems to have slowed. That's wonderful news, Kate. Our boys have really taken the fight to the Zerg. Of course, Donnie. But there's also a sense that whatever the Zerg were after, they either got it or they've given up on it. We may never know. You heard it here first. Ah, Commander Rayner. It's Arcturus's boy. I we might boy. discuss the expedition to Char. Now... This is a dangerous game you're playing, kid. What's your stake in all this? Jim, I really think we should... Well, it happens that Mobius is backed out by Megst's own son. I can see why my father wants to kill you. I asked you a question. And on to Maw of the Void. Clear the landing zone. Destroy the vault. That sounds kind of familiar, but there are some differences. As bonus, you can free some prisoners. Go ahead. Achievements, finish the objectives, destroy all the rip fields on normal. Complete on hard without losing a unit inside here. the rip field. But centuries of asteroid impacts now see those circles? Those are rip fields, each created by a rip field generator. I'm talking about the circles on the uh, mini-map. Those will destroy most All anything right. except the we'll battle cruiser. Leave a battle up. cruiser in them long enough and they'll do that too. Destroy the generators at the center and the rip field will go down. That green marking all the way to the left, that is the Zelnaga vault. And we actually have a lot of um, opportunity here to get free minerals and gas, but we need to clear out the um, units that are guarding them and send an SCV out to collect them. At that point, we can build more battle cruisers so that we have a few extra and some kind of transport. I build a Hercules, but then drop ship for fine, and, and a Viking might help you a little bit later for dropping onto minerals on the other side. Um, at any rate, it's probably more important at this point as we're sending an SCV over to pick that up to put our um, battle cruisers over near the ramp and pick off what warp prisms they are as they come over until we mine out this area. That's what we're doing here. And then when we're ready to move over, we need to cross this chasm, hit this rip field generator, and as we get toward it, we'll notice um, three Protoss cannons we'll want to hit. Move it, move it, come on! Transmit order. We have you on visual. Yes, Commander. Yes, base is under attack. We'll find a Protoss base there. We want that base. That's ours. And they have to move. So we'll need to blast them. And then that's right on the edge of another rip field generator. We'll want to blast that rip field generator. And on the way to that rip field generator, you'll also see this little pyramid here full of Dark Templar prisoners who will actually be our friends if we get them. And we can use them to um, basically intercept ground that comes across. Here's a map. I don't know. That does much good.
There they are intercepting some ground units and then they'll pick up some resources for us. And here we are, Yamoto-ing the carrier because we don't like it. A lot of times this will be hit and run. Duck in, get a prisoner rip field generator and duck back out and repair. To all, friend Rainer. Uh huh. Four of them. Oh yeah. And yet it still needs a little more pummeling. So you were that. Now this is good. They're going to get out of detection range quickly. Pick up a little bit more in the way of resources for us. Then if you can pull off this last part, then good for you. Darkness descends. Our SCVs are under attack. Now look here. Chasing interceptors just generates fatal G-forces. Can you imagine what it's like on that ship? Attack the carriers directly. Oh, and here's the problem. As we get close to the vault, this will always happen. A mother ship has just vortexed us. Thankfully, we all went in at the same time, so they can't divide and conquer us here. And also, things are a little bit different. We're coming in from the bottom because we had to um, go back to a save. That's a little problem. So now, we're going to pound that vault. Look at the artifact. Send a ship in to get it. All right, we're clear. Grab that thing and set a course and to the wonderful. Valerian. This is Donnie Vermillion, live from UNN Studios on Core Hall. Troubling news tonight, as Crown Prince Valerian seems to have gone missing. That's right, Donnie. Prince Valerian was scheduled to speak at the launch of the Dominion's newest battlecruiser, the White Star. But the ceremony had to proceed without the prince when he failed to arrive. Official government sources offered no comment. Whatever the situation, we here at UNN hope the prince is okay. Oh, Junior's doing just fine. So far. Sensei says, taking the upper hand doesn't mean people have to smell your glove. <laughs> 